Good morning. morning. So we're a bit later leaving this morning because there was a scheduled swimming race taking place from the locks, between the locks, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was on the uh, on the website talking about stoppages and things that are happening on the river and a swimming event was taking place between uh, the lock where we near where we were, Ancient yeah. Lock, uh, and finishing at King's Lock, which is where we're headed. Yeah. We have checked with the, um, there was a load of canoeists, sort of uh, safety canoes with them, and we've just seen three coming back the other way, uh, checked and the, the swimming has finished now, so we have, should have no danger of hitting a swim now. We're good to go. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's we've done this stretch before, obviously on the way up. Yeah. And it's we were just saying about how we uh, when we first got to this uh, stretch of the Thames, it all looked a bit wild, and we, th we were thinking, where, where are we going to moor? Uh, but we, we, we used to doing nappy pins, weren't we? And looking for Armco. 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 Came apparent that Armco. as soon as you hit the river, there ain't any Armco. <laughs> nappy pins have gone in a locker. In fact, I forgot what they look like now. So we've had to <laughs> dust off our, our bank sticks, our pins, yeah. and uh, they've seen a lot of action over the last week. So, um, yeah, we've, we've sort of got used to it. I like the river cruising. Um, Very different. It is. It different, is different cruising, isn't it? Else. So uh, we're, we're not going very fast this morning. Um, we're just taking our time going along. So, uh, morning. Uh, we'll be at the lock soon. I believe that Chris and Steve from Life On Board, Amy Jo, are at the same lock. Now, whether they leave before we get there, we're not sure. So they it'd be might, nice to see them. Might get their mooring space. But yeah. yeah, it would be nice to bump into them again. Beautiful morning, look at this. Cold though, nearly, nearly hit the fire. <laughs> Resist. We keep looking at it in the evening and thinking, is it cold enough? No, we just put extra clothes on. Well, when it's when you're not sure, what we found is you light it and then suddenly you're too hot. Yeah. Like there's a bit of a chill in the air, you, suddenly you're flinging all the windows open and you're wishing you hadn't done it. So, yeah. <coughs> it won't be long now though. <coughs> oh, that's gone down the wrong way. Not dying. Don't promise. choke, I'll have to st do the steering myself. <laughs> so come with us and let's see what today brings. So we're going down now in King's Lock. Lock has just done the gates for us. They're all very well kept, these locks. We've been watched. You've noticed that each gate's got a weight on it. 2,300. Very nice hedge.
so we found a nice mooring spot. It's just past the A34, so there is, and it's going to be a fair bit of road noise, but I think this will do us for a day or two. Yeah. What I wish I'd been able to film was, as I pulled the boat in, I was on the, the bank, I could see the water so clear, I could see right the way to the bottom of the boat uh, and the, the, the bed of the river. So, uh, yeah, it's very clear. Yeah. Very clear water. And very windy. It is a bit windy. But we haven't got one of any of those pesky willow trees that fall down. <laughs> we just got low shrubs, shrubbery. Plants. Shrubbery. Every time we saw a tree fallen over the last week or so, it's been a willow tree. Hey ho, this will do us for tonight. It will.
Good, Good morning. morning. Well, here we are at Osney Bridge. We've been here now for two, three days. This is our third day, yeah. Third day, yeah. So, um, 24 hours free, I think. It's it? 24 hours free, but we chose to, to pay for the extra couple of nights. Um, great. pounds. Yeah. So it's not too bad, not I too bad. Uh, It's on a quiet street, except you can probably hear the building work going on opposite. It looks like they're renovating uh, an old factory or something. Um, so uh, we, we had planned to stay here anyway, because it's very, very close to the Oxford city centre, which is just over there. We're just about to catch a train um, to whip back to Coventry. And um, it's perfect, a two minute walk to the station and obviously two minute walk back. <laughs> so um, we're gonna set off in a moment and our next port of call, as they say, <laughs> is, is, is going to be Abingdon, we hope. Abingdon, so, because we, we desperately need water. Yes. We desperately need all facilities, all facilities. that boaters need. So uh, hopefully we'll find those there. So uh, we're just gonna, um, set ourselves up and um, say goodbye to Oxford for now. For now. Yeah. We'll come back, I'm sure. Definitely. As we go past, this is the building works we were talking about just up here. So, uh, let's have a look and see what they're doing. It looks like they're demolishing it. I can do this. There's Andy operating the lock for us. These are all hydraulic, of course. No windlasses needed here. So Andy's just pushing the gates down now. There we are, safely down. Thumbs up. Nice, lucky house. Now they're uh, opening up. I can feel it pulling the boat forwards now. And the water's starting to drop. Water is beautiful and clean. Really is clear. I don't know if you can see the steps down there. You can see under the water. Beautiful. In these locks, as opposed to the ones on the canal, they like to turn the engine off. That's mostly to do with, normally there's two or three boats in the lock at the same time. So you'd all have very few, you'd all have a lot of fumes if you're not careful. Lock gates opening and we should be going to the lock landing. So we're just going through the suburbs of Oxford now. It's all very well kept. Not much sunshine today. The 
there is a section coming up where we can go left or right. This may be the section. It's a nice place to moor your boat down there. This is Folly Bridge. The guy, you can see you could go either left or right. Uh, we've chosen to go right. The guidebook says just go either left or right and go slowly. So we have. So we've just gone through Folly Bridge and very narrow, quite low, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we've got this big expanse of river. It's really opened up, hasn't it? It has. Uh, and we're the only boat underway yeah. that I can see forward and back. Yeah, that's true. It's nice. Are they private houses? I think it might be something to do with the yachting as well. Oh, okay. Or the rowers. Rowers, maybe. Uh, okay. Oh course, yeah, they've got them certainly uh, sort of storage underneath the boats, haven't they, look? Yeah.
bell icon, YouTube will tell you each time we upload a new episode. In the meantime, thanks for watching, see you next time.